Okay. Well, I hate having to not. Um. So I really dislike when I have to end a stream and I don't complete a run because then I don't have a run to practice on and because I made it nowhere yesterday, now I have to enter codes. I have to keep entering codes. Levitate. Bomb glow. No. My God. Right. Right. There we go. Triangle to interrupt messages. Pause and select options to disable them permanently. To center the camera, tap L1. Thank you for choosing Megacorp. For our customers, come first. I don't know how to do this. But that's not what I'm here for. What's up, Pepper? Thanks so good luck. Can I just like go back? Of course not. Can't I do this with Clint? There we go. I didn't even work. Thank you for choosing Megacore, where our customers come first.
That's stupid. Wait, that's kind of... Wait. I did the manip. Cool.
This ain't movie routing. You don't know that. I'm routing in a better game. XD. So funny. I did not mean to die. Can't be serious.
and hate this strategy. God. See if you can find... Where's the cutscene? Whatever. I think I know why, but whatever. I don't really care to practice Do this fucking level. I just wanna speed run so badly.
Don't do that. Fucking bitch. Oh my god. That was not what I was supposed to do. Still worked. I am dead. Awesome. Fucking hate this deck so much. What the fuck? Why did it lag so much? That is unusual.
Oh.
What is going on? Why is it not on my... Huh? Huh? Okay. What is going on? Did my splitter just die? What is going on right now? Oh, thank god. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our gal- reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. I need to... Yeah. I can't read. Select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. Press circle to fire your lancer. the gravity bomb against those enemies. Lancer more accurately by holding L1. Ratchet check. For a map, press select. For R3.
Pause and select options to disable them permanently. Weapons are more effective than your wrench against strong... There's no way I'm gonna make it. God damn. The dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Thank you for choosing Megacorp, where our customers come first. Select weapons. Press circle to fire your lancer. Select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog. Press circle to fire your lancer. the gravity bomb against those enemies. Lancer more accurately by holding L1. Ratchet checking. For a map, Press select for R3. Press triangle to interrupt messages. Pause and select options to disable them permanently. Weapons are more effective than your wrench against strong enemies. The dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Thank you for choosing Megacorp, where our customers come first.
fighters defeated, proceeding to the Maktar Nebula. But then a four X. Not for that one fucker. And I've had like no energy recently. That's pretty cool. Just one. Dude, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be so slow. Yep. Yeah, that was heinous. Also, did I only- did I actually only get one? Uh, it doesn't matter. I- I'm, I'm done with this run now. That's crazy. How many did I get? It's okay. It's like nothing. Select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. Press circle to fire your lancer. Gravity bomb against those enemies. Select weapons. Hold 
Press circle to fire your lancer. Using the gravity bomb against those enemies. select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. Press circle to fire your lancer. Using the gravity bomb against those enemies. Press circle to fire your lancer. Using the gravity bomb against those enemies. your lancer more accurately by holding L1. Ratchet check. For a map, Press select for R3. Press triangle to interrupt messages. Pause and select options to disable them permanently. Weapons are more effective than your wrench against strong enemies. The dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Thank you for choosing Megacorp, where our customers come first. What's up, Big Trillin? This is on PS2. Black label. As it should be.
Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I doing? Why am I on the second file? Oh my god. It looks so detailed. Well, it's in 480p and I'm using an upscaler. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. PS5. There's been a weird amount of talk of whether these games get ported to PS5, and I just feel like it's so unlikely that I feel like it's not even worth speculating. Especially this game being black label. Like, there's literally no way. There's- it's zero chance that the black- this version of the game will be ported to PS5. Alright, I wouldn't count out- oh shit. I wouldn't count out some port of a game, I guess. Like, I would- I think it would be cool if the future games got ported, but there are PS3 games and the PS3 is kind of like horrible to work with, apparently, so I could see why that wouldn't happen. But there's just no way it's going to be on PS5. It wasn't on PS4. The, I mean, like, yeah, I, I don't know. And it would literally just be the PS3 versions. Like, there's no way that it's not. And even if, even if it wasn't, it would still not be black label for this game. Like, there's that, there's literally no way that they would use the black label version of this game. Try using the gravity bomb against those enemies. Which makes no sense. PS6? Yeah, this game will definitely come to PS6. Is that kind of crazy to think about? There probably will be a PS6. And it probably will... I don't even know. There just will be one. It's gonna be nuts. Wow, that's crazy. People just think it because, like... I mean, they've done it in the- like, the PS3 was kind of like the host of lots of collections of older games. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, and then PS4 is like that, but not as good. Not nearly as good. And less games. And then PS5 is even less. Especially because like full like full on remakes are way more popular now than just like remastering a couple games and slapping it on a digital storefront. Like even though it's more expensive to remake a game, it's just like more enticing, I guess. It'll probably make more money back. Oh shit. Like, would, the, would they remake these games? I don't think so, because, like... Oh my god. Because, like, Rack PS4 exists, and that game's kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of like in a weird area to where, like... If they remade these games, they would also probably have to care a little bit about Rack PS4. So I wouldn't expect, like, a whole remake. A port? Definitely. There has to, like, this game, this game has to be ported at some point to something in the future, like, officially. There's no way that it won't. Like, these games are just too beloved to never get ported ever again. We just don't know when. Um, and, yeah. But, like, a whole remake is a little much... Especially when, like, Rack 1 is in a really weird spot. Because, like, they, if they- if they- 
remade this game, for example. If they remade this game, and they like port and and you know, it would just be kind of weird. Cause like if they follow this game exactly, then it would be, you know, it'll be it'll be fine. I guess it'll be probably a pretty good game. But like, the problem is nobody's gonna know what is happening, you know, because it has no relation. It would have no relation to Rack PS4. So like, it would just kind of exist. Or just like not tie into anything. It's just like, oh, here's a port of the second game. Or sorry, a remake. A full on remake of the second game. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Not gold, but that was pretty good. Um, anyways, but like. And then, like, if you do want to care about Rack PS4, you'd be like, we gotta. You gotta fucking change the story and shit. Uh, admittedly, it probably wouldn't matter as much for this game as long as they don't change like the actual content of the game. Like they have all the same planets and shit, because the story matters less. I know for fucking Ouya though, they would fucking butcher it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even want to think about, like, the fucking Q-Force, that's what they're called in Ouya. How that shit would be. Oh no. Yeah, I don't even want to begin to think about that. That would be so bad. Because they replace all the characters you actually care about with fucking the ones from the movie. That guy fucking died for no reason. They fucking died for no reason. Oh my god. These didn't even break. You gotta be kidding. I didn't even- I didn't need them, but... It's just... Wow. That was amazing. Anyways. Yeah, like, it would just be, like, less funny. Um... I mean, at least they would have- they would have to have Scrunch in the game. Cause Scrunch is literally a, a gameplay element. You couldn't- you could like not- Well, I guess you could, but like, why would you change the clank sections to remove the monkey? And it's a funny monkey, so like, why would you not have him in the game? You gotta be kidding. Actually, Nephew would be fine. Oh, what the- why am I pressing the wrong fucking button? Like, they just fuck it up so much. I couldn't imagine what they'd do to, like, the charge boost and shit. Imagine how the fucking sewers would be without, like... Good old fast charge boost. I don't know. They'd probably just make them, like, hover boots or some shit. Because that basically replaced the charge boots. It's like, they're fine. Well, I, I haven't... Actually, I've played Nexus, but I haven't played any other game with the hover boots in them. But they seem... They're, they're, they're fine. They're just different. They're better when you think about it. Like, the problem with the charge boots in, like, a casual setting is one... Um, outside of Todd, outside of Todd, you cannot break unless you, um, how's this against my PB? Damn. In Todd, you, in Todd, I know you can, like, break, like, whenever you want, you just press a button or something. But in, in every other game with charge boots, you have to shoot a break. I was thinking about this yesterday, actually. Like, 
nobody especially i didn't personally i didn't even think about that when i was a kid like shoot a gun and then you stop charging like no nah, i never thought about that so i never used a charge boost when i was a kid i thought they sucked because they just send you really fast really forward and like you can barely control it and it's just like it just seems useless they're just like i don't know basically it, it just sucked as a kid I think they probably- they worked a lot better in Ouya though, because there's a lot more like open areas where charging is like actually good. But in this game, like, you can't turn very well. And it's just like, it's just not very applicable in a lot of places. Like fucking this level. I think about this level, no, I thought about this level if like you had a rack one movement and I'd be like, it's literally going to be the same fucking thing. Because the problem with this level is that there's so much stopping and going, like especially on the section where you actually have clank. So you'd probably just use thruster pack anyways. If you had like rack one heli movement and you could go fast and shit, because you don't really have enough space to go that fast. Outside of like one area, kind of for a little bit. Like, that's literally it. But yeah, I mean, it'd be cool. It'd be cool for, like, no tack, I think. But just, it's just not super applicable in this game. It would be good for Tabora, I guess. That's the only time I used to charge tweets as a kid, on Tabora and Grelbin, because they're actually fucking, like, made to just zoom through them. And I mean, who didn't fuck around with the movement when they were younger playing? those levels also what's up alex thanks for good luck good luck how the fuck how are you alive okay Yeah, Tabora. I really like Tabora. I think I actually genuinely got all the crystals um, in, in Tabora. Like not as not because of the skill point, just because I wanted to find all of them. Robin was a different story because of the fucking Yetis. No way, dude. Waiting. To jump long distances. To glide over gaps, press X. See, like that, that section there would be slightly cooler with like rack one movement, kind of. Like what I do there is already like kind of the best that you can do. You can do a midair, you can do like a falling midair, but it's kind of precise. Like you just you're just like that section that I just went through. You could probably do like a, a cool, cool little thing. Skip those little platforms, but then like you got this shit, or you got like this, or you just sit here. It also is kind of hard because you gotta like shoot shit all the time. And it's really hard to, like, both use the helipack. That's annoying, but whatever. Hmm. 
This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Hey, watch it. I just fired it. Holy shit, my XP is fucking dog. That's so bad. Run is probably dead. Press and hold circle to shoot the swing shot. Use all missions completed on this. Oh my god. Six oh six though. My head? How am I not ahead? Wait. Wow. Like even with my PB. I guess this this would be kind of cool. If, like I don't, I don't know. Man. Oh, do I not have any ammo? Oh no. Please say I have like one at least. To disable the jamming array, destroy the six transponders. Alright, please do the XP steal thing. No! Transmitters with the bolt crank. Press square to attach your wrench, then walk around the platform. This is pretty bad. For a map, press select for R3. This is gonna be really slow. Also, yeah, that's like the what the new XP route is for, so you can just mash on them. Alright, let me just kill you. Why? This is not this is bullying. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, dude. I just need to kill something. Fuck! Never mind. Whatever. Oh no! You just you just kind of go against the um the barriers to just make them instantly explode, and I guess you just do it too fast, so he doesn't really move. Because whenever you start shooting him, he does move to the left or right. It's random, I probably. But he just kind of. <sighs> All right, I don't know. I think because you're shooting him so fast, he's like switching phases, so he's like not attacking because he's like, oh, I switched this phase, so I shouldn't attack yet. Or something like that, I'd imagine. Or like, you should pick something else, but he usually does shoot missiles, so I don't really know. Press circle to fire your lancer. Cause he he does have like a little animation play whenever he takes enough damage, so that might that might be it. Holy shit, that's fucking beautiful. Select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon. Press circle to fire your lancer. I still need to get in like to the groove of what exactly I need to do to get like good XP and shit. Cause I'm always under on um not always, but like that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm I'm usually pretty under on answer i'm either like really good like i upgrade on the boss or i'm just like really really under because like the the latest i think you want to get it is like on the first node and jamming to 
select weapons, hold triangle, and select But if you get it like after that, it just kind of sucks. Press circle to fire. Because skipping the upgrade otherwise is really, really, really annoying. Because the lancer, like you have to you have to be in the air. Like you have to be you have to be in the air and then you have to like hyper strike or like switch your weapon or something for the animation to not happen. Rather than like nuke where you just you know just kind of not have it out. There's no way. There's just no way. What's up Armin? Thanks for good luck. Select weapons, hold triangle, and select an icon with the left analog stick. Press circle to fire your lancer. Bitcoin millionaire. I need to watch that video. Armin, didn't you didn't you come out with two new videos? more accurately by holding L1. Reali added the new one. Ratchet check. It's been a minute since there's been like a new Tarna video. I swear. We need we need some more Tarna videos. For a map, press select. Or R3. <laughs> Press triangle to interrupt messages. Pause and select options to disable them permanently. Weapons are more effective than your wrench against strong enemies. Oh, that's shit. Oh, PS3. I wonder if it's- I wonder if PS3 and G Plus is gonna be, like, better. I don't know. I still wouldn't play it. I fucking hate NG Plus. Like, that category's so shit. What am I doing?
Dude, this is so shit. God. That wave one was so good. I kind of want to play no IMG, but also like I don't care. I don't want to learn that. I think the only other category I want to play of this game is like all missions or some shit. I don't think I would take it that seriously though. You will automatically grab ledges if you jump up to them. It's bullshit. By jumping toward a wall and pressing X again as you hit it. To aim weapons more accurately, press and hold L. I think this PS2, the way that I skip, or I don't mash for the cutscenes, so like whenever I try and skip, it's like never, it's like never the same way as on my old PS2. If you want to earn lots of bolts, visit the arena later for more battles. It just like feels, it's probably faster, I don't fucking know dude. It doesn't feel the same. that shit. I don't know if it lagged more or less, but I just usually I don't gotta mash that much. To center the camera, tap L1.
The best rack too. Oh. That reminds me. We did a... No, I think it was me and Armin and Emerov, I think. We did a fucking tier list in a VC like months ago. I don't fucking remember what my favorite was. Such a hard choice. I don't know. I, I like, um, like, other than like the big picks, like, I know people love like Todano, people love Smog. I think Smog is fine. Nothing crazy, really. Um, you know, shit like that. I think, I think that, I think shit like Dabo Interior is like underrated. Cause like, I, when we were doing the tier list, I was the only one that thought da the Dabo Interior was good. Like, I think it kind of go, it, it kind of slaps. What's up, Craig? What's up, Crescent? Holy shit. Clank? Swear to God, whenever I greet somebody, it's like fucking, I can't talk. Dabo. I think the, the regular Dabo is fine. I think the interior, like when you're gliding, that shit is good. Um, Yid uh, not Yidl. Um... Fucking what's it called? Grelden. That one too. The 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 one that they use for um fucking whenever I think for gliding. I don't know. No. To jump long distances. To glide over gaps, press X to jump. Oh my god, what is up? As in gamer, 3000, aka 3k, aka whatever else. Thanks for the raid. How was your. Um. God, what? Were you playing like Rack 1, I think, last time I saw you streaming? Sometimes when I'm bored and I'm like not at my PC, I just like go on Twitch to like see what people are streaming. Oh shit. Thanks for good luck. The hypnomatic part, like of um, yeah, Grubbin is a Yeti level. That's. I, I, I mean, I remember it because that's literally, you go there, you go to part of it in APB. Um. Oh shit. Weapon upgraded. New weapons. New weapons. Yeah. No, kill both. Christ. Okay. This is gonna hurt you a lot. Okay, that's much better XP. Holy shit. Completed on this planet. Search other planets for available missions. Oh, let's fucking go. Sub six. Shout out the Colossus. I need to play that game. <laughs> I've not been interested. Well, I'm not that interested in it, but you know. It looks like a game that I should probably play at some point. <laughs> Fuck.
God, I, this game's fucking stupid. Anyways, it was my fault for wasting my time on that. Should have just accepted that I was not going to be able to skip the animation. Oh, Rack 1 fucked up your hands. Yeah, Rack 1 and like... I don't know. To disable the jamming array, destroy the six transponders. Fucking size matters mess with my hands. Cause that game, cause I played on PSP. That shit sucks. Like it was cool to play on a PSP, but like it hurt after like a long time. Also like it's really fucking sweaty. Cause like it gets pretty hot, it gets hot pretty easily in my room. So like, and if I'm on pa if I was on pace, then it's like fucking gross, sweaty. I have to use the fucking tiny ass analog thing. It's just it's just horrible. <laughs> it's just terrible. Also, did I just get double fucking nuke drops? That's based. What's up, Sneepy? Alright, sounds good. 3k. That shit sucked. I remember when I was on, like, I remember when I was on my 29 run. And I was an inside clank and I was just trying to move around. I literally like stopped moving for like a second because it just felt so bad. Like I could not keep like moving. So I probably lost like maybe a second or some shit. It just, it just felt so bad. Damn, PSP sucks. Why the fuck did the camera do that? That's not normal. It's supposed to go like slightly differently. Forgot where I was supposed to go for a second. Alright. Huh? That's a decent run. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'll play it eventually, but I have a bunch- I have a bunch of shit, like, just on PS2 that I need to play. Like, fucking... Every Sly game. That matters. God damn it. Um... Jack 3, Jack X. Probably not gonna play Jack X, but that is a game that I've shown interest in. Deadlocked. Fucking Deadlocked. I haven't played Deadlocked. Um. Fuck. I guess Shadow of the Colossus. I guess Ico, if I really wanna be thorough with like the things that people give a shit about. Um. Metal Gear games. I have MGS 1 through 3. Like, I own them. Physically. I've owned them physically for like... Meant, like, probably 3 years now. And I haven't played any of them. I also have MGS 5. <laughs> on Steam. And I've had that for like 2 years. And I haven't played it. I won it in a giveaway. Pretty crazy. Like I didn't even, I didn't even test if they worked. Also, that's the first time I've touched the water there in literally, like, years. 
Like, holy shit. Like, even, not even since I've started running the game, I think I just have not touched that in, like, actual years. That's insane. I'm not gonna play the PS4 remake because, um... I don't have a PS4. And I think it's more novel if I play it on PS2. I'm just being quirky. Rather than practical. What else? I gotta play fucking Klonoa. Oh, I'm hyped for that remake. But I still- I wanna play the original games too. I wanted to play Klonoa 1 for so long. Klonoa- same with Klonoa 2. I've barely even seen like a lot of gameplay of Klonoa 2, like actual like videos of it. I know what it looks like, but I barely watched any of it. PS3 remaster? What's wrong with PS2? This is just like shitty performance. GG, thanks, thanks. I like frame rate. Oh. Like most games that I've played on PS2 have not had like shitty frame rates or like performance issues other than like Jack. The weirdest fucking thing about Jack is that like it has like fucking screen tearing sometimes. I don't know if my brain has gotten used to it after watching like a lot of like Jack 2 and 3, but fucking when I played Jack 3, no, when I played Jack 2, it was fucking like screen tearing if I played in 480p. It was so annoying. And like just only not not even consistently. It was just in certain spots. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Also, this kind of sucks. This is really, really not good. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. 20 FPS. It's crazy. I know that, um, what's it called? Ico runs... It, well, it looks like it runs at 20 FPS. Apparently it runs at 30. I think. I don't know. That game looks like it's fucking, it's like a, it's like a PAL, it's like a PAL game, but they didn't account for it being, like, less FPS. So it just looks terrible. It's like PAL Ocarina of Time. That shit's just straight up slower. This is, this is atrocious. Like, especially if a game's not 60 FPS, it just looks- it just- it's just kind of shit. Like, at lower frame rates. Where are- it's fucking green, of course it is. That was not good. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Sky? Thanks for the host. I could play it on PS3, though. Wouldn't be a bad way to play it. Doesn't even look like that demanding of a game, but I don't know. Oh my god.
Yeah, Felsen's fucking horrible. I'm bad at it too. I was not paying attention most of the time. Or I wasn't paying enough attention, I should say. Oh my god. I should have to- it's like, should I have to practice? And it's so annoying to practice. Oh, come on. Or actually, no, I don't need to do that. How did the game not fuck me there? I feel like it just... it. I feel like the game was just gonna be like, nah, you just don't get the clip through or something. Oh, let's go. Alright, I see those questions. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this fucking segment. No! kind of early, but we're good. Yes, dude. That was, that was really clean. What position am I on the leaderboard? I think I'm fifth right now. Right, Zem, Manto, Scotto, Wingo, and then me. I'll probably be sixth soon, because, um, fucking, um, Um, IN is running again. And IN is pretty good. Um, okay, Dibbird. Dibbird one. Um, there's a lot to unpack. If this run becomes shit, then I'll try to explain things. But this run is like decent, so I want to like play well. I'll try to explain what I can, because I think this game... I think this game... Like, I think it looks really sick, like, even if you... Like, if you've played the games, and you just see what's, you know, going on, I think it's pretty sick. I think it just generally looks kind of impressive. But, like, once you understand it, it I think it's a lot cooler. Just, like, there's a lot to unpack. Not right now though, it's kinda- it's not super chill, cause I have to do this ring challenge without missing any of the rings to get the Platinum Bolt. So I am playing the All Platinum Bolts category, where I have to get all of them. Every single one. And you know, you gotta kinda go fast. Like, the only interesting thing about this is that we, we mash the boost, so we don't lose it all at once. But we still go fast this way. It's like, if you could just boost the entire time, just that, it would probably be like way harder. Yeah, there's 40. Manto, I mean like, Manto's just, there's nothing, it's just kind of like, it's gonna happen eventually. You know? just sort of that one of those things that like it's going to happen it just needs to happen it just hasn't happened yet i guess all right so we do we jump off of that we do a slope intercept to to get up there instead of doing whatever you're supposed to do casually i don't know about you but i don't think i got that bolt when i uh casually So 
Same with this one. I have no idea how you do that casually. Is that how you do that casually? I don't know. I don't really care, but it's kind of interesting to think about, I guess. Yeah, like Manto's going to get it. It's just not, not. I want. I don't want to say not soon, but like it's just, like it's just not gonna immediately happen. I guess. There we go. Um, Manto's doing Indaco, but he's not doing A2, because I don't think he's found clips, like, consistent clips that work for him. I've been doing Indaco, like, a week after client clips got revealed. I hate that you have to say revealed and not discovered, because they were revealed in the all mission segmented. Oh my god. And not, like, you know... They were discovered, and then we just started doing them. Okay, that was... R this is really bad. Okay. But, like... Yeah... I've I've been doing Andako clips like a week after they got revealed and um I think that was before I even found like a consistent or like a super consistent setup that works. Cause door the not door two. Um the second clip you do, which is a door, but the first clip isn't a door, so it's not door number two. Um The first one or uh, the second clip is um it's it. your wrench now does more damage what am I what am I saying? What am I saying? Okay, r no. Holy shit. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um the the last clip, the second clip you do on, on, on Indaco. That clip was much harder than the first clip. First clip is easy. Like, I, the first clip is very easy. The second clip is so weird. Or at least much more difficult. Like, the reason why the first clip is easy is because, um... You clip through a, um... Like, the, the wall is sort of curved. Like, the wall that you're on. So, it just kind of... Kind of gives up a lot easier. Because another thing with client clips is that we used D-pad to clip when they first got found. Manto still uses the D-pad, but... Most everyone else uses analog stick. But I still use D-pad for, um... I still use D-pad for that specific clip. And, um... Yeah, but the second clip... The problem with it, it, it's just much harder. We didn't have, like, a setup or anything. I was still going for it for some reason. But I did find a setup. I found, like... Basically, the setup that I... I mean, nobody else is really running this category. Hey. Other than me, man. I guess Ayan is running it right now. But when Fear ran it, he basically did like a... A very similar version of my setup. But like, I found the first consistent setup for the second door. Um... So that allowed me to uh, save lots of time. Okay, come on. 
I had calm gold for like a little bit. That's really, really, really annoying. I haven't messed that up in like fucking forever. I had calm gold for like from whenever I started finding my consistent clip to whenever Manto found his. It was like a 601 or some sh Dude, fucking... Fuck off. Are you serious? This is so fucking annoying, dude. I'm not doing it any differently. Oh my fucking god. This run was, like, actually good, too. Like, I was actually ahead. It never happens anymore. Fucking Christ. Anyways. Alright, now that this runs like shit, I can keep talking about whatever I was talking about. Yeah, so I had calm gold, whatever. Okay, uh, Eranos 2 was in a similar situation where um, you clip through two doors. The first one is so easy. Like, it's just... It's so easy. Fear found the, found the setups for those. But door 2 was a little bit more difficult. Like, literally, the day after they got discovered... Or, sorry, revealed. The day after they got revealed, I tried to just do... I tried to do all the client clips on or Aranos 2. I was just gonna... I, it, literally, my stream was just streaming until I get the trick... It took me 10 minutes. Don't do this to me. Okay. Um, it took me 10 minutes to get door one. It took me like 30 minutes to get door two on Aranos 2. Um, and then there is, you can clip through the last door. Like, the, the, the one before you uh, switch to Ratchet and turn off the power and shit. But, um, that is task only. Uh, I tried to do that, but I ended my stream because I sh was not getting it. Also, I probably had some shit to do. I, I don't know. Alright. The RT viable by anyone? Fear allegedly did it once. He said he got it one time, while he but he wasn't recording. I believe him. I mean, like, why would you lie? But yeah, that's he. I've never seen anybody else get it, or claim they got it. I didn't get it. Yeah, it it apparently does not. Apparently, it might not even save like time RTA. I don't think anybody's actually like genuinely timed it, but yeah. This is so sad. Look at this. Look at this fucking time loss. Uh. Just, just get me out of this level. All right. Still ahead of latest, which is really embarrassing. I lost a fucking minute. That's so bad. Okay. But yeah. But Dibbert, I, I, I implore you. This this is where uh, we get the charge boots and um we go kinda crazy here. Or for the rest of the run, I should say. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean the thing that makes it save time apparently is well I know one of the things that make it that makes it save time is that you get you can get damage boosted by the robot or one of the robots. Which is cool. But like it seems that seems kind of precise. And yeah, like it, it's whatever. Like, I think one thing that people don't really recognize about client clips is that, like, the time save is kind of nuts compared to, like, doing it normally. Because 
like when it first came out we were comparing it to clank proxy because that was like the only other like skip you could do um and that was fucking bullshit yeah this run's just falling apart now but whatever i'm just fucking fed up I don't, uh, 3k, I don't give a fuck about NG+, I, I don't. I have a sub 10 because I said I was gonna get a sub 10, and that's literally the extent of what I want to do with NG+. I don't care about it. I don't like it. It's fun to watch, I guess, sometimes. But yeah, no, I'd rather watch, I'd, I'd sooner watch uh, Rack 1 or Ouya NG+, than Rack 2. Like, I just watch a different fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, the only... Like, I think any percent in this game is pretty cool to watch. This category is very cool to watch. Um, no IMG is okay. Um, what even else is there? Undo. Hundo, I mean, Hundo and Max Percent are just like, sort of like, how can you not watch them, right? There's some long ass marathon categories. Like, how can you not want to watch that? It's like Spyro 3, 117%. That shit's like almost three hours. Oh my god. Sorry. All right, now we have the charge boots. And, um, we're gonna do some shit. Yeah, the act tuning thing. I think it's cool that act tuning is part of the run though, because I know that people have like theorized, oh, what if you do this shit on PS3 in Rack 2? It's already very much a thing in Ouya. It's been using NG Plus for like quite a while. But like nobody nobody really seemed to try it with fucking um whatever it's called. Rack 2. All I can say is that I wish we had fucking act tuning to make poking just slightly easier. Cause like, I really don't like fucking, um, what's it called? Poking. Um, I don't know, I might do it this run. All right, Dibbert, so that's basically what most of the, the rest of the run looks like. So, two things that I think we should talk about. One is called proxying. It's when I charge at a wall or something, and I throw a, a bomb or a decoy, um, and it makes me go up. That's that's a proxy. We're going to be doing some proxies in this level if I don't fuck up. Like, that's a proxy. I grab this bolt and um, I'm doing I'm getting the tractor beam which isn't it's not something that everyone does but I just do it for safety because the strat to not do it's really risky oh shit all right now we're just doing some out of bounds movement Alright, that was, that was decently clean. Alright, solid. But yeah, also, uh, wrench jumps. Um, when you, okay, so, 
in the like trilogy games, the first person mode is kind of like fucked up. Um, it lets you do some interesting things. Basically, most of the stuff that you can do is because of the first person mode. Like the wrench jumps that I do. You hold L1 for them, which is obviously the first person mode. Or like those jumps. I guess you just call them like glove... Sh I don't know, glove shit. It doesn't really have a name. But it uses the gloves. So yeah. So I use a lot of proxies, a lot of wrench jumps. A lot of like different acrobatic movement to um... To get around. Yeah, L1 is why PDA works. A whole different story. And we also use the decoy glove to just clip through basically anything we want. Oh, god damn it. The, the water thing wasn't intentional, but it's pretty swag, I'd say. Alright, good shit. How am I against PB? Yeah, still bad. Okay, I want to just- I want to be able to like average like sub 115. That's my goal for like getting inching closer to my PB because my latest runs have been really, really bad. Like I'm doing very not good against them. All right, so I just need some money here. I need a lot of money. All right, now we're good. So like, for example, like we just do some flips here. Very cool. Use a decoy glove. Oh shit. Don't don't shoot, don't shoot. Please don't fucking shoot me. Don't kill me. Okay. We're good. Alright, and then we can land on this. If we you know, do it out of a glide. Pretty cool. It's not the weapon I wanted. It's it's less it's less good on PS3 actually. It's it's much easier on PS2. Like you have to be really precise about where you how you clip on um PS3, but like PS2 you can just kind of place it and it works most of the time. Fuck. Get in. I lost 20 seconds? Jesus. Yeah, Rack 1's kind of shit. I mean, on PS2, it's not as... Like, I don't know what they did with the fucking... What they did with decoys to make them so fucking volatile in this game. Cause they're like, like rack one clipping is not that bad. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's still pretty easy. Just like different. Where is this asshole? Okay. Yeah, I'm losing like a lot of time here.
Oh, for real? Yeah, Rack 2, they just, they did make changes to like all the Rack 1 weapons, I feel like. Especially Bomb Glove, because Bomb Glove can hurt you in this game. Um, if it hits you in the back, it will hurt you. It's used um, once in this category, actually, to die faster. We use it on Tabora. Um, any other time, it's completely not intentional and probably loses you time. Yeah, this is really slow. Oh shit. I saved time? Whatever. Alright, so I think this is a pretty cool level. After I buy ammo. Like, I think this is one of the harder levels, just to, like, get through quickly and consistently. But it's very impressive when you do it correctly. And satisfying. This shit feels so good to pull off. What the f- I, I, I told you, I told you it was difficult. That was bullshit. That was literally fucking bullshit. I can't tell you why that just happened to me. Because I don't know what just happened. Oh my god. Okay, that was my mistake. Like, I literally have no idea why that just happened. Other than like lock on, but I was holding neutral, so like that shouldn't have happened. Anyways. So let's just do the rest of the level. All right, it's okay, we got that strat, so I don't care anymore. This bolt was clean as fuck, so it's okay. Okay, that's just fucking bullshit. What do you mean I'm not side flipping? Oh my god. Alright, that was really sloppy. That was stupid. Yikes. Anyways. Scotto? Definitely. I mean, I, I don't actually know who, like, first found and, like, messed around with proxies a lot, but I assume that, like... Oh my god, dude. I assume that Scotto definitely did something. Oh my god. I was not expecting to get a wrench sling there. That proxy is kind of weird. It can be kind of inconsistent depending on how you, like, where you go. Or, like, your angle. But, um, usually it doesn't do that. Alright, and now we do Dome Clip. Yes. 
That little turnaround is my favorite thing in this level. It's not even fast. But I love to do it. Or do we do dumb clip? Does anybody know who this is? Why is this guy modding my chat? Oh, let's fucking go. About to get us a, a, a 4x fucking A2 right now. Oh my god. This door requires microbots to open it. Select enter to send the bots into the bot. Manto, we were talking about you. We're talking about how you're how how you're um we're talking about world record speed runs. That was like ages ago though. Why is this actually fast though? I mean not really, but like No, I knew that was gonna happen. Manto, it's not even that hard. Like, um, I don't even have a solid setup for door two. And it just fucking works. Like, I'm telling you, I don't even fucking know what I do. I just kind of line it up with that one line, and, and I just, yeah. Like, I just don't understand. I mean, I don't, I, I got it with D-pad once. Okay, Manto, I can say that. I got it with D-pad once ever. <laughs> when they first got fucking revealed. Fuck off. That was almost fucking four- Dude, I'm mad. I'm so fucking mad. That could- that was- I fucking killed- I was- I, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding about 4x. And then I fucking killed it to the SI. I'm fucking mad. Oh, right. Okay. I am actually fuming right now. Like, that's a fat gold. Like, that's really sexy, but it could have been 4x. It doesn't matter. Somebody's probably gotten, like, much better than that, but whatever. I'm gonna kill me an Ouya online. That's crazy. You fucking bitch. Why? What am I doing wrong? Especially because he dies like one second later. Like, watch this shit. Immediate. I shot him with like two lasers. Alright, let me actually focus here because I don't want to fuck, fuck this up.
Oh yeah, this is... I, I fucking hate this with that triple boost. Like, Felton, fine. Rugus, fine. This fucking level? This is the worst. Like, you have to intentionally go slow. Not because it's hard, but because you can't fucking go fast enough. The game's just like, nah, you're poor. Die. Alright. You type this with your nose. It's literally the same joke as the fucking thing that you're talking about, but I think it's funny. Thought I was gonna die. Let's fucking go. I kind of wanted to do poking, but I was thinking about it and I'm like, I want to have a good run. Because this run is good, except like... Two levels. Yeah, music's fucking awesome. I forgot about Sniv. Sniv is the best song in the game. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna say that. That's my answer. Dabo and Tadano, yeah. Mostly Dabo though. Dabo just not missing the midair for like a really long time and then missing the midair like three times. I'm just like really, really angry. Also, I like how this won't gold because um, uh, I've done poking and like actually gotten it in like a good segment. Oh yeah. It's okay, ten, less than 10 seconds off gold though. Off my poking gold. It's kind of bad. <laughs> That's actually kind of shit. Oh my god. I said it out loud and I'm like, damn. Must have been some bad poking. Uh, okay. Alright, should be good for train cycle. So let me not fuck up the actual, like, movement. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know why you, you didn't have to... You didn't have to say that. Fuck. It's okay. Fuck. Oh my god, dude, you didn't have to do that. I'm alive. Fuck! I... I hate this game, dude. I actually despise this game. Like, seriously. I this is the this is the worst game ever made. Of course, I get no fucking midair charge. Ah, <sighs> so fucking bullshit. Like first of all, I don't I didn't think I went slow enough to be able to push get pushed by that train. And second of all, 
I survived and then I fucking charged and bonked. That's so stupid. I saw that happen to IN yesterday too, and I was like, wow, that's really fucking stupid. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Crazy. Alright, so this segment, fucking, um, what's it called? Dabo Tadena. It's like the worst segments I've had this run. I guess Siberius was kind of bad too, but I don't really care. It wasn't heinous. I'm still saving a shit ton off latest, but... Yeah. This is what it's like to fucking run against a gold smog. Like, actually painful. I think I could beat my 114 if I play really well. Which basically means don't fuck up. Man, so I don't know if you're still here, but... I think I was talking about this, like, the other day. And I never, like, mentioned it. Or I forgot to, like, t mention it anywhere. But, like, check this shit out, okay? So, like, instead of, like, doing some, like, decoy shit here, you just, like, do that. Except, like, you're not... You don't hit the wall, you just you just go over there. You don't have to do it like fully blind. But like I feel like this is a better way to like not only position yourself kind of, but also get the wrench out. But I've seen nobody do that. But like I don't I don't know. Like Manta I know Manta doesn't do it. I don't think I ended it. No, Ian does like uses the nuke, I think. That golded? That was that, that was balls. I don't know how else to describe it. I should have described it in any other way though. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm glad I golded, but just like, wow, that, that was, that felt terrible. Okay, what is going on? Where are you? Okay. Doesn't matter, my A2 gold is now epic, except I messed up. I messed up the SI once. It totally would have been 249 otherwise. Also, that was a, that was a base way to get the upgrade. Shit. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's annoying. That's, that's literally, that's bullshit though. That, that one right there is bullshit. I will tell you that. Makes zero sense. Can you stop doing this? 
fucking so annoying. It's so annoying. I literally have no idea why this doesn't work sometimes. It just kind of doesn't. Did I see Lyndon B. Johnson died? Yes. Is there anything else I need to know about Lyndon B. Johnson? You can trust me, Manto. Let's go. Um, that's not good though. That's stupid. Insane wrench swing there. Yeah. He had chaotic bisexual energy. This is insane information. Alright, can we sub 115 now? Do it clap. Do it jiggle though. Oh shit. What the fuck? I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, sorry guys, but the the jig's up. I'm I I just I just fucking cheated. Oh you bitch. This is so slow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, you fucking bitch. Don't kill me. Dude, how am I- how is this so fucking slow? Oh, never mind. We're good. Wow, that's crazy. Like, my best run in, like, two months. Not two months. Actually, probably two months. That's crazy. Oh, 
Mr. Fizzwidget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was... It was balls, sir. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, my hand hurts now. The what the hell? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up Thanks for the GG's. Automatic. That little baby queen's just something fierce. I just got done testing the full body vaccinator. I am personally sporting a... Give me a second. And there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. Gotta go play Xbox Halo 2 online, something your dumb stupid poor parents couldn't buy. Yes, I'm allowed to play adult games. Uh-huh. Um. Alright, I'll play this cutscene. I gotta leave. So I'm gonna raid somebody real quick. I'll raid Recon. Um, yeah, that was, that was good. That was actually a pretty good run. I'm happy. I just need to like churn out runs like that, but better a little bit. Like if I can play like that, I'll be a lot happier with, um, playing the game, but yeah. I gotta leave, so... Uh, like, right now, so... Tell Recon I said good luck, and have a, thanks for watching, and have a good day.